What do the divine feminines tuning in today need to know? The word independent keeps coming to mind, indicating that someone here is truly embracing their independence, becoming more self-reliant and emotionally strong. This energy aligns with the card's journey, which represents the path you're on and blossoming abundance, symbolizing the growth you're experiencing. The action card also suggests that it's time to trust your intuition and take steps forward, even if things aren't entirely clear yet. As an announcement, we have just launched our Patreon and YouTube membership platform. Please subscribe as new content and features will be added in the coming weeks. With these two cards appearing, it's clear that the Divine Feminine is being drawn closer to her true soul gifts as she develops spiritual, emotional, and mental independence. I'm sensing a transformation. Some of you may feel that your daily desires and passions are shifting as you expand and evolve through this ascension process. Now the next card, the action card, suggests that the biggest challenge right now might be feeling overwhelmed by the larger vision to the point of inaction. Your guides are reminding you that this journey unfolds one step at a time. Continue to trust your intuitive guidance and take that next step forward, even if it seems small. It's all part of the greater vision coming together. What else can we channel here? The woman holding a heart card emerged from the deck, highlighting that the divine feminine is becoming increasingly magnetic to love energy at this time. I'm hearing that love is a powerful force expanding your energy. For some of you, this message is specific. There may be love or romantic situations in your life that have been divinely orchestrated to facilitate your growth in unique ways. These relationships might be confusing to the ego, but they are here to profoundly expand you at an energetic level. As I mentioned how love is expanding your energy, the appreciation card appeared, symbolizing deep self-reconnection, self-love, and self-appreciation. Alongside this, the door to value card in the upright position represents soul expansion, aligning perfectly with our discussion about your energetic essence growing through love. This growth could stem from love in your life or from learning to fully love and reconnect with yourself. I also sense a subtle feeling of loneliness accompanying this journey towards independence, which is an essential part of your transformation. In these moments of solitude, it's vital to recognize that this space is allowing you to delve deeper into your own self-worth and value. The process of self-discovery and expansion often requires periods of introspection and solitude, which ultimately lead to a stronger connection with your true self and a greater understanding of your unique path. Embrace this time as an opportunity to nurture your inner self and to cultivate a profound love and appreciation for who you are. Now, okay, this is very, very interesting. Even though there's a slight sense of loneliness, divine feminine, you're stepping into a very powerful energy right now, as indicated by the blossoming abundance card in the upright position. This card symbolizes a time of growth, prosperity, and the realization of your desires. The appearance of the fork in the road card suggests that your growing magnetism is bringing various opportunities and choices into your life. As you harness this energy, you're attracting a range of possibilities leading to key decision-making moments. 
These choices could relate to different aspects of your life, such as career opportunities, financial prospects, romantic connections, or social engagements. This period of abundance and decision-making reflects your inner growth and the expansion of your manifestational abilities. As these options present themselves, it's important to consider how each aligns with your true desires and life path. This is a time to trust in your intuition and inner wisdom as they will guide you towards choices that best serve your highest good. Embrace this abundant and transformative phase, recognizing that each decision is an opportunity to align more closely with your authentic self. The abundance you're experiencing is a testament to the energetic shifts you've been cultivating. And these new possibilities are a reflection of the expansive energy you're putting into the world. What are these choices or options emerging for you? A card just flew out from the deck and it's the Pathways card. This indicates that some of these opportunities may involve moving or travel, potentially offering a change in your physical environment. These options seem to be centered around enhancing your sense of freedom, which is a core value for many divine feminines at this time. This could suggest a desire for physical movement, such as relocating to a new place or exploring new horizons through travel. This strong pull towards freedom may stem from earlier life experiences where you felt constrained or controlled, whether by family, social systems, or societal expectations. For many, these environments might have limited your mental, emotional, or even physical freedom. As you've grown into your independence and self-confidence, the value of freedom has become paramount. You are no longer willing to compromise on this essential aspect of your life. The Guardian of Boundaries card appears, symbolizing the energy of standing firm and holding your ground. This is about asserting yourself and maintaining your position, even when faced with differing opinions or opposition. Another potential opportunity for the Divine Feminines is to courageously uphold your beliefs and values, especially when others might not understand or agree with you. The word vulnerable comes to mind, as you might feel exposed or sensitive, perhaps feeling like you're sticking out like a sore thumb due to your unique worldview. This sense of standing out is likely because of your evolved soul and mindset, shaped by numerous past lifetimes and a profound conscious awakening in this one. You might be noticing the energy of others whispering or talking, making you feel like you're drawing attention because of your distinct perspective. This situation may occasionally lead you to a solitude phase akin to a hermit mode, where you might feel isolated or alone. The Solitude card, along with the number 1 or 111, suggests you're on the verge of a significant transformation. This number often symbolizes completion and the preparation for new beginnings. You might be experiencing moments of loneliness or isolation, feeling different from those around you. However, this phase is also building a deep inner confidence, allowing you to stand firmly in your truth and authenticity. Embrace this time as a powerful opportunity to connect with your inner strength and prepare for the new paths that are about to open up for you. Now, wow, this is also pretty interesting here. As I tune into your energy, Divine Feminine, I'm sensing the presence of a steady provider energy. This often indicates a masculine influence that is either currently in your life or seeking to connect with you. 
this energy feels like it's subtly trying to make its presence known, perhaps reflecting someone who is thinking about you or wanting to establish a connection. I'll delve deeper into this energy now before we move on to further messages related to the Divine Masculine. This steady provider energy suggests a stable, reliable presence, often indicative of someone who values consistency and practicality in their interactions. It's important to note how this energy is manifesting in your life and what it might be signaling about the connections or relationships you're attracting at this time. So from what I'm hearing, I'm assuming for most Divine Feminines watching, this connection is from your past, something that has possibly seemed restricted or limited in some way, perhaps by external circumstances that felt beyond your control. It feels like there hasn't been much movement between the two of you recently. For some of you, this could be someone new, but for most listening, this is likely someone from your past, someone with whom things have felt at a standstill. I'm not sure why, but the word standstill keeps coming up. To clarify this standstill, we have the blocked communication and withheld gifts cards. The blocked communication energy suggests that things might be at a standstill because this person has drifted far from their true authentic self. I'm seeing an image of their child self being very much in tune with who they are at a soul level, but as they've grown, they've lost touch with that deeper identity. This masculine energy feels like a very sensitive soul, someone who has a lot of love to give and possesses a pure spirit. This is something you've recognized in them, divine feminine, but they seem to be holding back. The withheld gifts card suggests that this holding back is due to being influenced away from their true self over time, possibly due to external pressures or circumstances. There might also be a connection to a religious background or upbringing that has shaped their current behavior and beliefs. This sensitive soul is struggling with this internal conflict, which has created a barrier in fully expressing their true feelings and connecting authentically with you. It's interesting because Right as I was sharing about that, I noticed a bunch of papers on my desk getting scattered around, almost like a physical manifestation of chaos. This tells me that whenever this person, this masculine, begins to think of you, they're hit with a whirlwind of chaotic thoughts and emotions that they find difficult to process. Even in the reading, it's a bit overwhelming, but we are going to sort through these many layers to understand what's happening here. Okay, wow. Now we have the contemplation card coming up here. This suggests that things may have been quite stagnant between you and this person. There's an energy of daydreaming where this masculine seems to fantasize about you more than actively engaging in reality. This indicates a disconnect, yet they often find themselves lost in thoughts about you. Next, the restrained voice and tradition cards suggest that this person is being or has been controlled by something or someone in their life. It could be a strict person, a rigid tradition, a belief system, or even cultural expectations. This influence has been so strong that it has led them to a state of feeling powerless, as symbolized by the overwhelmed card. They may feel resigned to their circumstances or fate, unable to break free from the constraints that bind them. Despite these challenges, you, Divine Feminine, have been a source of escape and hope for them, existing as a cherished daydream. 
this situation could involve a relationship they feel trapped in or a deeply ingrained belief system that creates a barrier between you two. I feel that recently, however, with the Solitude card and the Balancing Act card, there's been a significant shift within this person. This shift might seem very unexpected. Through some form of isolation, whether physical or emotional, they have entered a period of solitude that appears to be divinely orchestrated. This time alone has led them to do a lot of soul searching, uncovering their true feelings and desires. During this introspection, they've gained clarity about their feelings for you, Divine Feminine. They now feel a strong desire to bring balance to your connection, as indicated by the Balancing Act card. This suggests they are considering how to approach you in a new way, seeking to harmonize the relationship and perhaps initiate a fresh start. Okay, what else can I channel about this Divine Feminine here today? Okay, we have the Guardian of Stability card in the upright position. This card often represents external energies that are sometimes projected onto you. I heard the word attack, which could refer to emotional, mental, or psychological attacks. It feels as if there's a heavy, triggered energy from someone who might be projecting their issues onto you. This projection can sometimes manifest physically, making you feel the weight of this energy in your body. It's crucial to find ways to shift and release this energy. Physical movement and spending time in nature can be particularly effective in helping to clear these stagnant energies. Engaging in activities that ground you and help you connect with the earth can facilitate the release of these burdensome energies, allowing you to restore balance and harmony within yourself. Can I know more about this potential triggered energy projecting onto the Divine Feminine here? I'm hearing, the more you radiate your light, the more others may project their own shadows onto you, especially those who are not ready to face their inner truths. The remarkable thing about your energy, Divine Feminine, is that it acts as a mirror providing others with a clear reflection of themselves. Connecting with your energy offers a rare and transformative opportunity. This might resonate as a powerful affirmation. Being in my presence is a unique blessing and an invitation to self-discovery. This affirmation acknowledges the special nature of your energy and sets a boundary, emphasizing the importance of genuine and meaningful connections. I feel that those who aren't ready to accept the gift of seeing themselves fully may actually run away from the shadow aspects of themselves. In doing so, they unconsciously project this avoidance onto you, if you've experienced people suddenly distancing themselves, whether in romantic relationships or friendships, or if you've encountered situations where someone verbally, mentally, or emotionally projects negativity onto you, it can understandably make you question, is this something I'm causing? However, in these cases, it often reflects how your inner power and truth challenge others to face their own shadows. It's as if your energy shines a light on the illusions they hold about themselves, and they find it difficult to maintain these illusions in your presence. This can be threatening to those who are not ready to confront their own darkness. Consequently, they might feel the need to pull away or disconnect because your presence brings to the surface aspects of themselves that they are not yet ready to acknowledge or integrate. 
I'm picking up that you've done a significant amount of deep shadow work. You haven't been afraid to confront the darker aspects of yourself. The word messy comes to mind. This process may have appeared chaotic, both to those around you and to yourself. You may have faced judgment when this chaos became visible. However, the message is clear. You've always been genuine. You've always been willing to face whatever comes to light, refusing to live in illusion. This authenticity is what makes you so powerful and magnetic at this time. It's the energy of truth within you that draws others to your presence. A quick moment for our sponsor, Aura. Aura, it's the Spotify of mindfulness, a personalized path to inner harmony. Every listen, a step closer to balance, every session tailored just for you. With Aura's intelligence, your journey to serenity gets more personal each day. It learns to soothe your spirit and gently guide you into restful sleep. But the Aura experience transcends audio. Live events for real-time connection, one-on-one -on -one coaching for personal growth. Aura is your companion for life's every moment. Since Aura embraced my life, every day is a transformation. In just minutes, it renews my clarity, brings calmness, and nurtures my soul. It's not just an app, it's a life coach, a sleep soother, and a gateway to a thriving community. Over 8 million people have embarked on this journey. With Aura by your side, discover serenity in every breath. Find your Aura today and begin your journey to peace. Download Aura today with the link below for a free trial today. All right, now I'm going to try to get more information about this romantic communication coming here, Divine Feminine. With the Pathways card in the upright position, it's interesting to see spirit guide messages beginning to emerge. Paired with the Expression card, it indicates that communication may be coming through in a particular love situation. I'm hearing the phrase, a new path opening in love, which could signify a new beginning either with someone from your past or someone entirely new. This connection feels highly spiritual as these cards are associated with the upper chakra centers, which often relate to higher consciousness and spiritual clarity. The reversed conflict resolution card suggests that this communication might usher in a period of peace or clarity, providing a deeper understanding or confirmation. This message could resonate especially if you've been intuitively sensing that something significant is coming in love. This communication may involve someone expressing feelings or insights that you already suspected, providing a powerful confirmation of your inner knowing. Additionally, this person might bring a sense of peace and clarity to your life, resolving past uncertainties. This message may resonate with those who have felt in limbo in love, sensing that a new significant relationship is on the horizon or that someone from the past may return. This upcoming communication could offer clarity on why previous relationships felt stuck or didn't work out, revealing that a more aligned connection has been waiting for you. Whether this is a reconnection with a past person or a new relationship, this communication seems to affirm the deeper spiritual alignment of this love connection. And, okay, so yeah, it also seems there's a masculine energy who has been deeply contemplating reaching out, especially if this is someone from your past. The contemplative man card suggests that this person has been reflecting a lot, not just on you, but also on spiritual matters that they might not usually consider. 
Seeing the number 311 indicates that this masculine may be encountering signs or synchronicities related to you or the connection, signaling that something profoundly spiritual is happening. I hear their inner voice expressing confusion and intrigue saying, something is happening here. I can't fully articulate it, but there's a powerful spiritual connection between me and the divine feminine. This awareness of a deeper spiritual charge suggests that they are becoming more attuned to the unique nature of your connection. Additionally, there might be a detail about tattoos. Someone involved may have them, adding a layer of personal significance to this message. Wow, and okay. There's a really powerful message coming through here as well. The message I'm hearing right now is, my heart has been open to you for a long time, and this feeling isn't going away. This is what I sense from the Patience card and the Heart Chakra card, both upright and both connecting with the third eye chakra, the seat of intuition. This masculine energy is experiencing a conscious stream of intuitive knowing or guidance related to you, Divine Feminine. The message is, my heart has always been soft for you. My heart's always been open for you. My door is always open, metaphorically speaking. This connection feels different from any other they have experienced. It's a steady rhythmic feeling that doesn't fade or fluctuate. It's as if amidst everything else, there's a persistent sense of connection between you. This masculine energy acknowledges this unique bond recognizing that it's unlike anything they've felt with anyone else, either before or since. It's a profound and enduring awareness of the deep connection you share. I want to see what this masculine has to say about you, but before I do that, I'm going to shuffle the traditional deck. What else does this masculine want to say to the Divine Feminine? The cards Eight of Cups and Five of Pentacles came up. This doesn't necessarily have to be about financial constraints, but can also represent a sense of limitation or restriction in general. I sense this masculine saying, I understand why you had to step away or distance yourself. I've been feeling trapped, dealing with something challenging and restrictive. With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this masculine is also expressing struggles with self-worth, finding their place, and understanding their true value in the world. There seems to be a connection to work or financial stress, which could be a specific area of difficulty for them. I'm also seeing an image of pink flowers, which might hold significance for someone. This masculine is feeling a strong urge to communicate, as indicated by the throat chakra, upright. The message coming through is, I know you've been sensing my feelings, but I want to say it out loud. I want to confirm what you intuitively know. This masculine is aware of your deep intuition and spiritual wisdom, which they deeply admire and find mysterious. However, they are currently feeling lost, as suggested by the reversed solar plexus chakra, struggling with their sense of self-worth and unsure of what they can offer you in a tangible way. This internal conflict may be affecting their ability to move forward or communicate openly. I want to know more about how this situation might unfold in the future, so let's reshuffle the traditional cards and channel into potential future timelines. So how could this situation between the masculine and divine feminine potentially move forward? 
the Three of Cups in reverse and Ten of Cups in reverse suggest feelings of loneliness and disconnection. These cards indicate a longing for reunion or connection that feels delayed or out of reach, creating a sense of pressure within the masculine. This overwhelming pressure is likely pushing the masculine towards some form of action. The Hermit card reversed shows that this pressure has already led to significant inner soul searching, and it seems that this internal journey will continue, helping the masculine uncover more clarity about his true desires. The reversed Four of Swords further emphasizes a sense of exhaustion and longing for rest or peace, metaphorically described as wanting to come home, which is symbolically represented by being in the arms of the Divine Feminine. The masculine feels a strong pull towards moving into a new phase of life, but there is a sense of uncertainty and lack of direction, as indicated by the reversed Seven of Swords. This card suggests a feeling of being stuck or in limbo, not knowing how to move from the current situation to a more fulfilling future. This internal struggle reflects a need for clarity and a concrete plan to bridge the gap between where he is now and where he feels called to be. The masculine is in a phase of transition, seeking a way to reconcile his desires with his current reality. But ultimately, all of this is pushing the masculine towards a decisiveness that may not have been present in the past, as indicated by the reversed Two of Swords. This suggests the end of a period of indecision, where they may have previously appeared uncertain or unclear about their desires. The mounting pressure and inner reflection are bringing about a deeper understanding of their true feelings, propelling them into a more decisive state of mind. This shift marks a significant change from a previous wishy-washy demeanor to a more clear and determined outlook. The masculine is beginning to recognize and embrace the truths within themselves, leading to a newfound clarity and purpose in their actions and decisions. This transformation reflects a growing readiness to take concrete steps toward resolving the uncertainties in their life and moving forward with greater conviction and direction. Now, this has been a truly eye-opening reading. We've explored a lot about the energies and dynamics at play in your life. I'll do one last channeling for the beautiful Divine Feminine to conclude this reading. The Four of Pentacles card, often associated with setting boundaries and self-protection, connects with the High Priestess energy, symbolizing intuition and the Third Eye Chakra. The message is to follow where your intuition is leading you away. This means there might be specific situations, people, or connections in your life that your intuition is advising you to distance yourself from. If you feel guided to hold your ground or keep a distance, trust that instinct, even if the reasons aren't immediately clear to your conscious mind. Your spirit guides are encouraging you to lean into this intuitive guidance as you have been doing Divine Feminine for some time now. There's a sense of something settling in for some of you listening. It's as though this past year has been about laying the groundwork for a new foundation in your life. Projects, ideas, and various aspects of your life that seemed stagnant were actually in the process of coming together, both energetically and physically. This period of perceived stagnation was necessary for building a strong foundation which is now settling and will support your future growth. I hear the words significant transformation, indicating that this foundation you've created will enable substantial growth moving forward. If this message resonates with you, 
Know that the groundwork you've laid is crucial for the upcoming phase of expansion and success. I hope this message reaches those who need to hear it, offering reassurance and clarity about the path ahead. Wow, that feels like a beautiful place to close this reading. Thank you so much again for tuning in today. I am sending you all huge amounts of love and light energy. Have a wonderful remainder of your day and weekend, and I will connect with you here again in the next video.